Welcome back. Okay. This is the devotionals for the older children, you know, um, that I just, I put together because I have older children and I, um, use these videos to teach my own children. So, <gasps> exciting news, guys. I have learned. I'm learning how to play the guitar. So my son is 13 years old and he is learning. And so because he is learning, I am learning because whatever is good for my son is good for me, right? So um, learn now, guys, before you're 36 years old having to learn it, okay? All right, so before we get started, Lord, let's, uh, let's open up in prayer, all right? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing us back together again. You are miraculous and amazing, Lord, and I just love you. Lord, I pray that you just bring us um, closer together through this script, through your scripture, and through the um, devotional that we're doing today, Lord. I pray that you just blanket us with your love and your compassion and your kindness. And um, I hope that this message reaches whoever it needs to reach. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. All right, so we are going to be talking about the only way. Can I get a amen? The only way is through Jesus. Just in case you didn't know that, okay? So let's start off. You guys, if you have your Bibles, you can open up to John chapter 14, verse 5 and 6. Here we go. Thomas said to Jesus, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, and I am the truth and the life. The only way to the Father is through me. Woo! Yes, hallelujah, right? As Jesus continued his special dinner with his disciples, he didn't want them to be confused or scared about the things they, that were going to happen. He wanted them to know he still cared about them. And Jesus said, don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. Then he told his disciples that he was going to his father's house to get a place ready for them. What? Jesus is up there preparing oh, your place right now. He said he would come back and take them to be with him. Jesus told them, you know the way to the place where I am going. But Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where you are going. So how can we know the way? And Jesus replied, here it is, guys. I am the way and I am the truth and the life. The only way to the Father is through me. Jesus explained to his disciples his amazing and true plan, even if they didn't understand it right away. He let them know he was going back to heaven to get his kingdom ready. What? He promised to come back and bring all of his followers, followers to his new kingdom. Jesus' death on the cross made a way for all sinners, that's all of us, to get back to God if they believe in Jesus. He is the only way to be made right with God. When we accept Jesus' free gift of saving us from our sins, it's like he creates a bridge from us to God. The bridge leads us back to God who created us and loves us. Praise Jesus, right? Let me explain something to you about this, all right? I hope that you learn this very young because it is a lot harder when you are an adult. So listen to Miss Desi. If you start taking accountability young and you start to look at the things and be honest with the things that you are doing wrong and the things that you are doing right and you bring everything to God. So let's just say little Jeremiah, right, was having a great day, okay? Okay. But he doesn't pray that day. Why isn't Jeremiah praying? Okay. Then the next day, Jeremiah is not having a good day. So Jeremiah prays. And he says, Lord, help me. Even though Jeremiah here <laughs> is having a bad day because he took his sister's toys, right? He's arguing with his mom and dad. And so there are consequences. But he prays to God. He says, God, help me. Help me. This is crazy. Help me. Right? 
Now, because we are young, right? And Jesus and God is, is so gentle. He might respond to little Jeremiah with, well, were you listening to your parents? Huh. Did you take your sister's toy? Hmm. Right? But now if Jeremiah would have, first of all, prayed the day that he was having a good day too, right? Because you always want to pray to God on all days, every day. But if little Jeremiah would have went to God and said, Lord, help me. <laughs> I, I took my sister's toy and she bit me because of it. Oh, Lord, help me. I talked back to my parents and because of that, I got grounded. Can you help me, Lord? Now the response might be, wow, thank you for being honest. Why don't we take a look at some ways that we can be better so we don't end up with those consequences, right? And then he may, and he uses the Holy Spirit in this way too. He may um, show you the way why by showing you like, um, what would Jesus do? Would Jesus talk back to his parents? No. Would Jesus take his sister's toy? No, absolutely not. So when Jesus says that he is the only way, we really have to understand that it is not just him physically. It is his way. He is the way, the way that he behaves, the way that he speaks spoke to people, the way that he did things, that is the way. That is how you are going to get closer to God. So learn it while you're young. Learn it while you're young. And I promise you, you will have a great life. Things will happen, right? But it won't matter because you will know and you will just be so close to God. Like, let's get lifted, right? Let's get lifted for Christ. So I want to just tell you, it says right here to explore more. What did Peter say to some Jewish leaders after he healed a crippled man? Read Acts 4, verse 12 to find out. So here's the Bible, okay? And we are going to read real quick before we end. All right, okay, where are we going? Hmm. What one was it? Okay, 4, Acts 4, verse 12, and that is right here salvation is found in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved thank god for jesus all right let's go ahead and end in prayer ah, dear heavenly father thank you thank you thank you for this lesson lord thank you for preparing the way for us thank you for just being who you are so we have somebody to look up to lord it's amazing to want to be like you and just oh, man thank you so much you're amazing in the name of jesus christ we pray amen all right dudes i'll see you tomorrow with a new lesson it can either be a lesson or a blessing what quit messing <laughs> bye guys <laughs>